What's up my piano friends? Zach Givens here and today we're going to cover a 15 minute daily piano routine that makes complete beginners sound like pros in four weeks of practice. Exercise one will help you master the four power chords used in hundreds of popular songs and get them on autopilot. Exercise two will solidify power patterns to upgrade your basic songs to sound incredible. And exercise three is going to be a surprise and let's just say that's the fun part that everyone loves. And stick around to the end of the video because we're going to use what we learned to play actual songs from the radio. All right, let's get started. So the key to learning a bunch of your favorite songs fast on piano is to work smarter, not harder. See, there's hundreds of chords out there, but there are only a few that really matter because they're used over and over in tons of popular songs. And these are what we call the four power chords. So instead of learning a hundred chords, you can just master these four power chords and play hundreds of songs on autopilot. So the four chords are C major, G major, A minor, and F major. And you can see these up here, just copy the shapes onto the piano. So to practice these, we wanna work two at a time to start. So first you wanna just go from C major to G major and just repeat this over and over and really get it into your bones. Then once you have that down, take G major to A minor and just go back and forth between these two chords, really get it into your bones. And then finally from A minor to F major, and just practice these over and over and get them into your bones. But once you have these pretty good, let's expand to three chords. So now you'll wanna practice C major to G to A minor, and then you stop, and then you repeat. C, G, A minor. Stop, repeat that a bunch of times, and then you move on to the next three chords. So now we wanna take G, A minor, F, stop. G, A minor, F, stop. Repeat that a bunch of times, and then finally you're gonna take all four chords together and drill them so it goes C, G, A minor, F, and repeat that a bunch of times. And if you practice this in this exact way, you're gonna be amazed at how much more smooth and confident these feel, even after just three to four days of practice. By the way, don't worry about memorizing these. Later on in the video, I'm gonna have a free cheat sheet download for you with all these chords lined up. All right, now let's move on to the left hand and it's actually way easier than the right hand. All you have to do is play a single note, whatever the name of the chord is. So for example, when your right hand is playing C major, your left hand plays the note C. And then G major, your left hand plays G. A minor, your left hand plays A. And then F major, your left hand plays F. So the whole thing looks like this. C, G, A, F. And you want to absolutely master these chords so you can play them just like I'm playing them now. Because next up, we're going to add some rhythm patterns on top of these chords. And let me give you a quick sneak peek of what that's going to sound like. Forever young, I want to be forever young. Sister, I don't want to miss a single thing you do. All right, so if you're excited to learn rhythm patterns, hit that like button. I'd really appreciate it. It really helps out the channel. All right, so just like there are power chords, there are some power patterns as well. And we're going to learn my top two favorite ones today. So the first one is called the four on the floor pattern. So we're going to take the same four chords we just learned. And if we count one, two, three, four, you'll notice we play both hands on beat one. And then only the right hand on beats two, three, and four, the left hand is grayed out. So if we practice it over just our C major chord, it looks like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, and so on. And eventually with enough practice, you'll be able to play the same pattern over all four chords. So it looks like this. C, two, three, four. G, two, three, four. A minor, two, three, And eventually, once you get it fast, it's going to sound like this.
Now it's really starting to sound cool, huh? By the way, all the patterns from this video will also be on the cheat sheet later on as well. But guess what? It gets even better because the next pattern is actually one of my favorites and it looks like this. So you'll notice for this pattern, the left hand and right hand always play at the same time, which does make it a little bit easier in a way. So first, let's clap the rhythm. So it sounds like this. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and feel free to clap it with me one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and and some people like to learn by counting others like to just feel the rhythm and just feel this da 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 and when we put it over our chords it's going to sound like this one and two and three and four and one And once you get it sped up, this is actually the same pattern that John Legend uses in his song, All of Me. See if you recognize it. And stick around to the end of the video. I'm going to show you exactly how to play a bunch of other songs on piano as well. Now, before we move on, realize for a lot of beginners, this is going to take a couple weeks to get this point. Okay, so be patient. Don't stress out. You will get there. But I know for some of you guys, you might have a natural knack for music and you're like, Zach, this is easy already. Give me something more. All right. So for you guys, I'd recommend starting to improvise and make up your own rhythms that sound cool. For example, you might do something like this. Or you might do something like this. Or if you want to get really advanced, you might even do something like this. And you can do anything creative that you want as long as you think that it sounds good. All right, so next up, we got part three arpeggio patterns, which have this very beautiful sound, but they're actually a lot easier than they look. And then after that, I'll hook you up with the cheat sheet, of course. But first, if you like what you're learning so far, I'm going to be expanding on this a lot more in future videos. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. All right, so arpeggio patterns is the skill you need if you want to get that very emotional heart melter sound out of the piano. So the basic concept is this. Anytime you play a chord, instead of playing all of the notes at the same time like this, you can play them one by one in any order, and that's called an arpeggio pattern, all right? So as you can see here, the apologize pattern, these boxes represent the three notes in the right hand. So you can see we have the top note, the middle note, and the bottom note. So this pattern, it would just go top, bottom, middle, bottom, top, bottom, middle, bottom, and then we can switch to our G chord, right? Top, bottom, middle, bottom, top, bottom, middle, bottom, and then A minor, top, bottom, middle, bottom, top, bottom, middle, bottom, and then finally F, top, bottom, middle, bottom, top, bottom, middle, bottom. And when you get this fully sped up, it's going to sound like this. Now, if this looks hard and complicated, don't worry. Most beginners don't get to this point until about week four of practicing. And by that point, you'll have all the basic chords so rock solid in your bones that this will be a piece of cake. And you'd be surprised how automatic and effortless these are going to feel because you have the fundamental chords already on autopilot. All right, now the second arpeggio pattern is called rocking chords, and it looks like this. So as you can see, the right hand just alternates between the top two notes and the bottom note. So it looks like this. Top two, bottom top two, bottom, top two, bottom, top two, bottom. Then you switch to your G chord, top two, bottom, top two, bottom, top two, bottom. And you repeat the same thing for A minor and F. So at full speed, it's going to sound like this. And by the way, once you get advanced, you know, maybe a month in, you can make up your own arpeggio patterns that sound really, really cool. So it might sound something like this.
or even something like this. But remember, take this one step at a time. All right, so for most beginners, the first week you're gonna really focus on exercise one, just mastering these four basic chords. Then weeks two and three, you're gonna master the power rhythm patterns. And then finally week four, people master the arpeggio patterns. All right, and then next up, I'm gonna show you a few actual songs step-by-step -step with the exact rhythm patterns I use. But first, as promised, let's get you that cheat sheet so that you'll have these songs forever. So just click the link, enter your name and email, hit submit, and you can download your cheat sheet 100% free here. All right, so at this point, if you're like, Zach, you know, this all seems cool, but can you show me exactly step-by-step -step how to learn some real songs from the radio? And the answer is yes. If you click this video, I'm gonna walk you through nine different songs by your favorite artists from the radio and show you the exact rhythm patterns and chords I use for each one. So click here and watch that video now. 